it was still fairly cool in the morning. Um, a lot of the seals were still out of the water and on the rocks. But as we drew closer to the rocks, many of them started moving down, getting in the water, and this boded well for a good dive ahead. As soon as I was in the water, all the seals that were in the water came right up to me and were having a good look around and seeing what I was. It's a very nice area. It sort of shelves up, as you can see, to about a meter, meter and a half on the shadow section of this particular bay and it's on this little pinnacle that they seem to love playing. Perhaps this is a safe zone. No big animals or big sharks can move into this water without being noticed. What I really enjoyed about this particular spot was being so shallow, you quite often get little swells that form here and Every now and again you'll get two or three animals catching these swells and riding them right into the shallows. Just kind of gives you the feeling that they really enjoy these early morning swims and they're not doing this for any particular reason other than just having fun. It was a really great morning um, back in this particular area with these animals and it's just always such a pleasure and such a privilege just to see the grace and agility of these animals. There's such a lot of life that occurs on this relatively small reef. You get the goatfish and the blue band and snappers always hanging high up in the midwater. And then closer to the reef, there's always a lot of fusiliers here. This unusual creature is a mantis shrimp and you hardly ever find them outside of their holes. It really has bizarre characteristics. It's kind of like a alien lunar vehicle with all its different antennae and legs. And what really kind of catches my eye is the way the eyeballs roll about and, and move along. They have these extremely powerful little front pincers which they can shoot out at a rapid speed. And I have heard that this is comparable to a 2-2 bullet. And I won't be sticking my fingers anywhere near him anytime soon. Now this was something different. This is a scorpion fish. This is not an uncommon creature here at the reefs, but you don't often see them sitting on sand. This guy was having a little bit of trouble with the surge itself and he was getting shunted around quite a bit at the bottom. They usually wedge themselves with their pectoral fins in a little crack or just to hold themselves in position. And eventually he got fed up with being pushed around on the sand and moved it along to an adjacent rock. I noticed these four bluefin kingfish on patrol. Now these fish are quite aggressive predators and they're quite clearly hunting. In amongst this little grotto, there's quite a lot of sprats and I decided just to stick around for a little bit and see exactly what happens. One of the fish will make a dart in, splinter the school up and the others will follow just behind trying to pick off individual fish or fish that are lost and not coordinated enough to follow the main school. This is not unlike the sardine run except in the micro environment here on the reef.
for the next couple minutes or so, they just did passes over this tiny grotto. And I'm sure they're gonna continue to harass these tiny fish for the rest of the morning. With perfect sea conditions this morning, uh, headed uh, out to the fish basket. Clouds of little sweepers above you, glasses clustering together, snappers all over the place. It was really a beautiful, beautiful dive this morning. All over this reef this morning, I found um, lots of these little blue spotted rays possibly the smallest ray that we get and quite recognizable by the electric blue spots splotched all over his back. These guys are also armed with a small little spine or barb that's just above his tail. So always be very wary of these animals. They really like uh, coming in nice and shallow. And right down on the northern section is this nice big cleaning station with lots of leopard mores all over the, the reef as well. It's all the little cleaning shrimps in there, the Durban dancing shrimps, the bandit cleaning shrimps, they're all there. And on this particular case, it was one of the, the big leopard mores. And you can see just to the left of the, the frame is the little cardinal fish. And when he turns around, you can see he's got some really deep cuts in him. There he goes. And he's definitely there in this area waiting for these little shrimps to, to pick out this, this, this scar of his or this, this injury that he's occurred. Spent a fair amount of time with this leopard moray and only about five or ten minutes into me filming this particular animal did I notice that there was another one of the, the sharp nose rays just almost lying on top of him further back in, in the cave. If you spend a bit of time there you'll always find something interesting going on. <laughs> 